Have you ever been in a raid when the boss puts up its shield and then resets its stat changes? When the shield is up, targeting moves will not work. So really popular moves like Screech will have no effect. That's why for the most part, you see a lot of people recommend moves that have guaranteed secondary effects because those effects will work through the shield. Moves like Acid Spray, Chilling Water, Snarl, nuzzle they're not the strongest moves in the game they are top tier rating moves because you can continue to debuff the boss even when the shield is active for special attackers we have arguably the best rating move in the game acid spray to lower the target's special defense by two stages when the shield is up so your special attacks can deal even more damage and on the other side we have screech for physical attackers to lower the target's physical defense by two stages so your physical attacks can deal more damage but acid spray is objectively better because it can work through shields when Screech cannot. Nope. But Acid Spray can't help the arguably best buffing move in the game, Belly Drum, that maxes out your physical attack. So if only there was a way to lower the target's physical defense when the shield is active to help your belly drumming teammates. Well, there's three attacking moves and one ability in the game that have a 100% chance to lower the physical defense as their secondary effect so it will always work through shields. Let's go over the Pokemon and see what each of them have to offer. Salazzle has the signature move Fire Lash, which is an 80 base power fire attack that will always lower the target's physical defense by one stage. The problem with Salazzle is it's a fast special attacker with the majority of its stats and its special attack and speed. So you wouldn't want to run a physically offensive attacking build because it's counterintuitive. Instead, we can run Salazzle more supportively. Salazzle is an awesome supporter because not only does it have Fire Lash for physical defense, but also has Acid Spray for special defense. So regardless who your teammates bring, whether physical or special attackers, you can support them effectively. Slazzle gets access to some great additional supporting moves like Helping Hand, Will-O-Wisp, Taunt, and hell, even Mud Slap. For the moveset I personally prefer, it's Fire Lash, Acid Spray, Helping Hand, and Will-O-Wisp. Slazzle is really frail, but we can supplement it with some vitamins to make it a little bit more bulky. I personally run max HP and max defense, but you can do max HP and max special defense. For its ability, I recommend Oblivious, because its other ability, Corrosion, helps us poison the enemy, and we have no way to poison with our build. And also, poisoning is just bad for raids. Arguably, it's the worst stats effect you can put on a raid boss. For item, for supporters, I like to lean towards a passive recovery item like a citrus berry or leftovers because I don't have to rely on dealing damage to heal, like with a shell bell. Next Pokemon and move that can lower defense through shield on our list is Flapple with its signature move, Grab Apple, which is an 80 base power grass move with a 100% chance to lower the target's defense by one stage. Flapple is a physical attacker, so we can take advantage of its own grab apple debuffs without relying on a teammate. We can lean into that with the EVs. You can run an adamant nature with max HP and max attack with the moves grab apple and dragon dance to buff your own attack and recycle. Flapple has some fun synergy with the citrus berry item and the ability ripen to double the amount of healing citrus berry provides and you can use recycle to refresh a previously eaten berry. So with this build you have access to unlimited healing and as your last move we can run acid spray. You won't personally benefit from acid spray but if you bring a supporting flapple with access to grab apple for physical attackers and acid spray for special attackers you can support whoever your teammates plan to bring you can also easily run a flapple with the shell bell item and just spam grab apple till you win but it's always fruitful to run some additional supporting options to help your teammates next pokemon on our list is the perfect afk and click a build it's galarian zapdos with its signature move thunderous kick which is an 80 base power fighting type attack that will always lower defense thunderous kick and Shell Bell is great synergy because every time you use Thunderous Kick, your next one will deal more damage due to the defense drop. And because you're dealing more and more damage, you'll receive more and more healing from your Shell Bell. For the Nature and EVs, I recommend Adamant Nature with max HP and max attack. With the moves Thunderous Kick, Drill Peck as your flying stab, bulk up to buff yourself. And my last move is Focus Energy to go for crits. But the last move can be whatever you like. And you have one of the best abilities in the game, Defiant. So you can raise your attack by two stages if any of your stats get lowered. Personally, I'll usually focus energy turn one and then spam Thunder's Kick till I win. If I get a crit, cool, I deal more damage, but I'm not depending on the crits. And I don't usually bulk up because most of the time the enemy will proc my Defiant and boost my attack for me. But it's always nice to have bulk up available if you need it. Those are the only three moves in the game that can always 
100% of the time lower the raid boss's defense through its shield. There's still one more Pokemon who can lower defense through shield, but it's not with a move, it's with an ability. Okay, Cramorant is bad. It's meme worthy. But it can actually be super helpful. With the signature ability Gulp Missile, after you use either Surf or Dive, Cramorant catches a Fish in its mouth. And when you get attacked, Cramorant will hit the target with said Fish and lower the target's defense by one stage. The issue is Cramorant can't reliably take advantage of the defense drop without using Dive as its go-to physical water move because it's a two-turn attack. And two-turn attacks are really bad for raids. So I found a supportive Cramorant spamming Surf as the best value. For item, I prefer a passive recovery item like a citrus berry or leftovers. For nature and EVs, I recommend the calm nature with max HP and max special defense. With the move Surf, to proc your ability to lower the target's defense. Amnesia to raise your special defense. Chilling Water to lower the opponent's attack. And Roost for recovery. For this build, 99% of the time you want to be spamming Surf because you can only get the Fish when you Surf. And we want the Fish to lower the target's defense. Those are the only four Pokemon in the game right now that can lower a target's defense through shield. So in my opinion, they're all must build raid builds, except for Cramorant, especially if you play online with others. There's an argument that can be made that Screech is better because it can lower the defense by two stages, while well, all of these moves only lower the target's defense by one stage. But I'd argue these moves are better than Screech because you're not sitting there twiddling your thumbs when the shield inevitably goes up. So it's a personal preference, but for me, if I have to choose to bring a Screecher or one of these Pokemon, 10 out of 10 times I'm bringing one of the Pokemon in this video. With all that said, uh, see ya!